The airport's definitely one of my favorite places to be because it means I'm going on an awesome adventure. Today I'm flying to Belgium to Kick Festival. Hope it's gonna be amazing. Let's rock and roll. So welcome to Belgium, I have just landed here in Brussels and I'm waiting for my train which will be in a few minutes to Namur which is the city where uh, the Kick Festival will be hosted and I'm gonna meet there Nimrod, my friend who is a UX designer at Wix, he's the one actually told me about this event and I just decided to join, uh, he's already there from yesterday so it's a one and a half hour train ride, I'm dying to grab something to eat and a coffee, hope there will be something on the train. Te rappelles-tu du temps de tes délires, de tes débats d'adolescents courbis De nos rêves au réel sans raccourci à réécrire nos vies pour ne pas être des copies Nos idéaux sans nostalgie étaient proches d'M6 au l'arrêt d'idéalgie De star flamme au solo il s'agit de conserver notre art sans démagogie Ce plat pays on te l'avait dit, agonise et s'enlise dans son extrémisme Seul le dialogue, les compromis pourraient compromettre There was no coffee on the train so I had to grab one here with a famous Belgian waffle which is super good and I'm heading to the theater where the festival is hosted. Donc promettez-vous d'être au-dessus du lot sans frontières libre comme des oiseaux sans manif sans canif ni naïf mon crew s'organise et reprend du service les pieds sur la scène le cœur dans le terre j'opère I just realized that I didn't really explain what is this event and what am I doing here. So basically this festival or conference is called Kick Festival and basically it's around design, art, technology, innovation, all that sort of stuff. So there is a lot of great speakers here from all sorts of you know, art and design studios and stuff like that. There's an exhibition and a marketplace and all sorts of things like video art and stuff like that. So I hope to listen to a few great talks, meet some cool people and just have a great time. The first talk that we've heard was from an Austrian creative agency called Wild, which does really cool work and he was kind of explaining the mistakes they did while they were starting their company and what they learned along the way. And even though I don't run a creative agency, a lot of the stuff that he talked about really resonated with me. Stuff like how to get along with your partners and that eventually people matters more than the numbers and taking projects that you want to work on and that you enjoy working on rather than just projects that make money or that, you know, grow your company um, so that it will look bigger but then you have to take projects that you don't really want to do I really really connect with those values so I'm here with Stefan my new friend who I just met Hi. tell us what you think about the new the wild talk that we just saw yeah, well, I saw you taking notes yeah I, I've taken notes and I really liked it I liked the ideas and the concepts yeah they, they were they were talking. really like down to earth and yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah no but really good presentation yeah. so far now we're gonna grab some sushi after lunch we went to two more talks the first one was from kind of a design researcher that's researching the connection between design and biology to tell you the truth I really didn't connect to what she was saying and basically I'm not really good with all the biology stuff and seeing you know grotesque images and stuff like that really makes me feel bad so I can't really say that I enjoyed it even though I think conceptually she was talking about uh, interesting stuff such as what are the implications when we are going to be able to design body parts and babies and stuff like that that talk really made me feel bad the one after that was about fashion and wearables and you know wearable technology which sounds super interesting but I gotta be honest the speaker wasn't so good uh, and I could not really you know be involved in the conversation and 
I kind of got bored pretty easily. I just want to say that I've been to a few events in my life already, so I know that not all talks are good. You gotta find the, the ones that do, and it's okay if you don't enjoy all of the talks, it's still worth it. Get ready, la star click est au complet. Tu veux une guest? Sorry, mec, on est complet. Ça peut plaire si t'as des questions. Viens au concert, tu nous verras en fusion. Fidèle au poste comme fidèle au vinyle. Nous et le hip hop, c'est une longue idée. C'est posé, tu connais la nouvelle. The last talk of the day, in my opinion, was really the best and most insightful uh, talk, and I really feel that I took a lot from it. It was from the founder of a company called Us2, which is also a creative agency, but it's more of like a product studio. Um, and he was really giving kind of an overview of what happened in the creative industry in the last few years and where things stand up now and what are kind of the opportunities in the future. And I feel that a lot of what he was saying, like he gave an overview how the, the agency model is collapsing because big, big companies, the big advertising companies and the big tech companies are acquiring all the talent and kind of the studio model is collapsing, the kind of the uh, consultation model is collapsing and the way to now reinvent the studio or the agency model is by developing your own products or investing in startups which means that you do the work for equity um, and those are things that I really think a lot about and that's actually how I try to manage myself. So. I, even though I kind of knew what he was talking about, I think to really see an overview of, you know, the the past, the present, and the future really connected the dots nicely and kind of encouraged me that I'm on the right path and that I'm doing the right thing. I really enjoyed that talk. It was delivered wonderfully and was very insightful. <laughs> And here I am now. I checked in really late to the hotel and actually I had a super creepy story of getting here. Um, I took a taxi. There was no hotels in the city center because everything is fully booked. I kind of took a hotel outside of town, kind of inside the woods and the taxi dropped me off at the wrong place uh, and I had to kind of walk in the pitch dark inside the woods for like one kilometer until I found this castle which is the hotel that I'm staying at. Went into the castle and there was like you know statues and pictures like old gothic pictures and there's nobody there there's no lobby there's nobody and I'm like hello hello and there's nobody there and it's creepy it's like a horror film <laughs> so I'm hanging around there I'm just like shouting hello until some girl came up the stairs and she was like hi Ron we were waiting for you uh, and took me to my room which I'll show you in a minute it's a crazy room and then she said oh I'm sorry that you got stuck in the woods um, you know make yourself comfortable and come down for a drink so I was like okay and then I go down after two minutes and she's not there and I'm walking around and I feel like I'm alone in this castle and it was really super creepy and then I came back to the room and locked myself because I didn't know <laughs> what to do and then I I was hanging out here for like 30 minutes not sure what to do and then I heard some steps so I went outside and I was like Lucy Lucy I was looking for the girl and then I found them like in some kind of a kitchen like a bunch of young cool people turns out that they live here they kind of took over this castle a few years ago when it was abandoned by this rich family who owned it and they're kind of like turned it into a hotel and doing some kind of a farming social farming activity here so it's supposed to be beautiful and I really feel much better now even though it was really really creepy um, but they seem super cool now and I think tomorrow I'll check out this place. It's supposed to be beautiful. So let me show you my room. So basically this is the bedroom. It's quite big. Here you have a big shower space. And here you have another kind of a library thing with a fireplace. But we could not find a way to put the lights on. So that's all for today. It was a super fun day for the first day of the festival. I'm gonna take a shower. I haven't showered for like more than 24 hours. Try to relax a little bit and I will catch you guys tomorrow.